back, relax, and maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hey guys, so I'm here today to do a haul for you. This is going to be my February haul, and hopefully I don't get too many more things in February because otherwise this whole six week thing is gonna be hard. So let's get started. A few of these I'm definitely planning to get to in February because they are actually books that I have picked up as part of the Welcome Book Prize challenge that Eleanor and I are doing together. So I'm gonna show you the first one of those first, and that is The Iceberg by Marion Coots. This is a memoir which follows Marion Coots and I believe also her husband who was diagnosed with a brain tumour in the area that controls speech. So he quickly deteriorated and his speech deteriorated and this follows I think about a year where they kind of got the diagnosis and then what happened after that. Um, it's a non-fiction true story and I'm definitely excited to read this even though I think it will be quite sad because it's just, it's going to be one of those books that I think I'll either love or hate, and I hope I love it, so we'll see. I've heard really good things about this author in general, so I'm definitely looking forward to checking her out, and I will be reading this in February so that we can do a live show talking about this and the other Welcome Book Prize book at the end of February or start of March, that sort of time. So the other one I need to read for that is one I've got on audio, and that is Bodies of Light by Sarah Moss. Again, I don't know an awful lot about this, except for that it is about a young woman, I think, who is in training to be a nurse. I don't really know too much more. I don't want to know too much more, because with literary fiction, I tend to find that knowing too much kind of gives it away sometimes. And I think this is my first Sarah Moss, so I just want to go into her writing and see if it's something for me. I've got the audiobook and I'm intrigued to give her a go. Next up I have a couple of books that were sent to me. The first one I have is this one called Shadow Black by Sebastian de Castell. This one turned up today which is the 1st of February which means I need to read this by the middle of March so I'm hopeful that I can get to it and read it before then. It's quite short and it is the sequel to a book I read last year by him I think. It's about 340 pages so it should be doable and I definitely definitely enjoyed his first one so I'm hopeful that I will also like this one. Another one that turned up today and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this or not so I really need your help in the comments to let me know whether you think this is worth keeping because this was just a random one that turned up and that is To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo. I've never heard of it before. On the sell sheet that they kind of send with it it says dark and romantic YA fantasy for fans of Sarah J Mass, which I am not a big fan of. Um, I like some of her books, but not most of them. I like these ones, these two by her. Well, actually this one by her, I didn't like the first one. And apparently it's about a siren with a taste for royal blood and the prince who has sworn to destroy her. So it sounds intriguing, but I'm just not sure if it's gonna be a book high enough on my priority list to actually get to it within six weeks, like my rule. So I'd love to have your opinion in the comments. Have you read it? Are you interested in it? Let me know. Next up, I have a book by a self-published author, and that is Trinity's Convergence by John Beecham. This is the first one in a Trinity of Flames series. It says, Magic is no more. The powers of the arcane, once wielded by every woman, man, and child, have vanished in a storm of flames and destruction that reduced the world to cinders. I actually accepted this one because it reminded me a little bit of the synopsis for Elantris, and I really enjoyed Elantris by Sanderson. Obviously, it's going to be quite different, and apparently the author said that he'd actually not even read Elantris, so I'm hoping they'll be quite unique from one another, but that concept just sounds cool, and I do enjoy worlds where, for some reason, magic has gone missing or gone wrong or gone sort of dark and evil, so I think this could be that, and I'm looking forward to it. Robots vs Fairies, and this is an anthology collection, and I was given this by my friend Laura, so I'll put a link to her Twitter below because she's great. And she got sent two copies of this, which is why she gave me one. And this actually has lots of short stories focused on the theme of either robots or fairies. And some of the authors who are included are Sarah Gailey, Maria Devana Hadley, Kat Howard, Mary Robinette Quell, Ken Liu, Shauna Maguire, and lots of others who I just think are great. So I'm really excited to give some of these a go. I probably will just dip in and out of this. And also look at that cover. It's just, it's shiny, it's gorgeous. It's really, really nice. Another one that I was given on the same day 
is this one, Sweet Black Waves, and this is by Christina Perez. This is an advanced reader copy. Um, it actually comes out in June of this year, so I've got a fair while to read this before June. I think I'll still try and stick to reading it within six weeks if I can, but again it's one I got the very end of January, so I've got until like the middle of March at least to read this. I believe that this is a romantic fantasy, um, so it's got a little bit of romance and a little bit of fantasy. It says it's for fans of The Graceling and The Mists of Avalon and it's the first book in a new fantasy trilogy about warring countries, family secrets and forbidden romance. So I'm always around for that sort of thing. It sounds good and I'm definitely excited to try this because I do know the author and I really like her so hopefully I like her book too. I've also been sent two books which I've put on my Kindle so I'm going to try and remember to tell you guys a little bit more about my Kindle books. However, they do not come under the six week rule so anything I get on my Kindle I am not counting to read in six weeks. I'm just saying that's fine because it doesn't take up space on my TBR so it doesn't really matter to me. It's like the physical books that I I want to get down to a manageable amount so Kindle books is fine but the two Kindle books that I was very kindly gifted by the authors are Faithless by Graham Austin King. This one is one I've heard really good things about because it was actually very close to becoming a finalist for the most recent SPFEO and I've heard lots of people praising it and praising this author in general. I'm definitely looking forward to reading it once I finish up with SPFEO in general. I will let you guys know what I think. Another one that I was very kindly gifted by the author is Richard Nell's Kings of Paradise, which I was recommended by Esme from Esmeralda Weatherwax on Twitter. I'll put a link to her blog and her Twitter because she is great and if you don't already follow her you definitely should. She reads so many fantasy books it's unreal. Like she reads more than I do guys. She is she is a pro and yeah she's great and she recommended it to me. She said she thought it would definitely be my kind of thing. I believe it starts with a scene about cannibalism um, so it sounds a bit random and crazy and a bit dramatic and dark but I'm down for that. I'm definitely interested and I'm hoping that I like it when I get to it as well. So that is everything I have for now. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of these books down below if you've read any or if you want to or if you want me to read them let me know. Let me know what you're planning to pick up and buy in February for yourselves and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye guys! Thank you for watching my video today. Then come back and chat with me again